Starting a balcony garden? In this video, we'll address the three things that beginner balcony gardeners overlook, causing their visions of beautiful, productive balcony gardens to fail. Surprisingly, none of them are about plants. At the end of the video, we'll share our favorite way to have a stealth balcony garden that's invisible to neighbors and your building super. Apartment jungle is all about apartment and small space living. We know firsthand the challenges and joys of making a small space a home. We're here to empower you to quickly, easily, and inexpensively make your small space your best space. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're a loyal subscriber, thank you and welcome back. Give this video a like to help spread the word that small space living is awesome. Most overlooked balcony garden secret number one, garden critters and bugs. One of the amazing things about balcony gardening is that you're up off the ground. This means you'll have fewer animals and insects to deal with compared to traditional gardeners. Unfortunately, you're not entirely off the hook. Squirrels and birds are likely to reach up to the 25th floor. It's insane, but squirrels can scramble up to the 38th floor, and of course birds much higher than that. If the birds are driving you batty, you can get pigeon netting installed. This will minimally impact your sunlight, will help with wind, and will essentially turn your balcony into an extension of your indoor space, but can take away from balcony views and ambience. You need to take the good with the bad. Less insects mean less beneficial insects. So, depending on how high we're talking, your balcony garden plants may need help with pollination, due to fewer bees and other pollinators, and soil aeration and natural fertilization, due to no or fewer worms and other burrowing insects. Here, we would suggest learning how to pollinate and aerate your plants, and help with nutrient transportation. We will link to other videos on these topics. Other plant pests can make their way onto the balcony. Aphids, spider mites, and white flies can and will easily hitch a ride on new plants introduced to your balcony garden. Once established, they will likely remain season after season unless you do something about them. These pest insects have natural predators that normally keep them in check, but it is unlikely you'll be seeing many of those on your balcony. So, you can either choose to introduce some of these natural predators, or use sprays and more human intervention methods. What you choose will be determined by your patience, position on pesticides, and views on keeping your balcony garden as organic as possible. Most overlooked balcony garden secret number two, weight. How much weight can your balcony carry? You will likely never find a definitive answer. The balconies of modern high rise buildings with reinforced poured concrete construction should be able to handle an extensive container garden. But it's the fire escapes, rooftop terraces, and wooden decks on older buildings that require a more considered approach. Most balcony gardeners believe that if it's safe for people to stand on their balcony, a few potted plants won't make any difference. But you should at least have an appreciation for how much your balcony garden will weigh before you consider dismissing weight as a non-issue. To give you an idea, here are a couple of examples. A large six-foot tomato plant growing in a five-gallon bucket will weigh over 30 pounds after being watered. A larger, maturely planted self-watering container can weigh over 110 pounds with a full reservoir. More important than the individual weight of plants and planters will be the combined weight of the entire balcony garden, including plants, containers, furniture, accessories, and people. If in doubt, or planning a large balcony rooftop garden, it is a good practice to hire a structural engineer to help determine what is safe and thus what your options are. Most overlooked balcony garden secret number three, building rules and less than ideal neighbors. There may be rules in place that limit what you can put on your balcony. These rules typically exist to keep residents from doing things on their balcony that might pose a risk to others, lower property values, or just annoy the neighbors. It would be a shame to put lots of effort into raising a small fruit tree only to have to get rid of it because it violates some building bylaw. Check your building rules to see what you can and cannot have on your balcony before making any investments in your balcony garden. You may have a restriction that says nothing can be visible above the outside railings. What you may perceive to be a beautiful thing might not be seen that way by others. Absent trying to change the rules, the solution here is to inform yourself and then proceed how you see fit. Building rules can be changed, but the process can be long and political and may not be worth the effort. 
Another classic source of neighborly tension is container runoff, that is, water dripping from your balcony garden onto properties below. If you have nothing set up to catch the runoff, you could be faced with an upset neighbor. You're starting a garden to enjoy your balcony. Keep in mind that others are also attempting to enjoy their space and you can't go wrong. And if accidents happen, a home-cooked treat or bundle of veggies or flowers from your garden can go a long way to smooth things over. Speaking of the neighbors, at the beginning of this video, we promised to share the best hack for guaranteeing the neighbors never get mad at your balcony. The best way to do this is with sealed, self-contained pots with built-in interior drainage. These ensure that your plants stay healthy and not in standing water, while also ensuring your neighbors won't get soaked in runoff. The hands-down best product that has all these features as well as sleek modern styling and UV-stable plastic is the Glow Pair. Click the link in the description to check them out. We had these on a balcony for over a year and the downstairs neighbors were shocked to learn that an entire vegetable patch was growing right over their heads. That's the power of controlling drainage. Balcony and rooftop gardening comes with its own challenges and it will keep you on your toes. Remember, this is all part of the fun. Your balcony garden will reward you for your dedication. When properly planned and managed, these three overlooked balcony gardening secrets can be easily and quickly addressed. If you liked this video, please subscribe to Apartment Jungle and be sure to turn on notifications. We put out new videos for apartment and urban dwellers every week. Thank you for watching and see you next time.